From the Shangulowe mine in the uh, Katanga uh, copper case and copper mines of the Congo, very, very interesting material. We have uh, uh, pretty large barite crystals with an undertone, an underlying, almost a blue, gray, greenishness, which would be, I, I've found associations of this material ranging from levethanite, tiny little uh, green pyramids seen under magnification, a uh, pseudomalachite, which is a, a sort of a, a waxy blue-green color, and then a, a malachite as well. Typically from Shongolowe, you had the inclusion of malachite. Now, from a perspective point of view, you have a crystal there, which has been intersected by some matrix over there. Just get it back in focus. Then you have a crystal formation over here, which is contacted on that point and that point. So maybe from a display point of view, this would be a suitable angle. Uh, quite a difficult one to figure out. That is crystalline, that section over there. That's the, the termination uh, running into the crystal. Maybe a little bit of malachite there as well. Let's have another look from here. Very uh, fresh, crisp, interesting color. All the way, of course, from the uh, uh, deposits of um, the Shangulowe mine in the, the Katanga Copper Crescent, Copper Mines of the Congo. Let's go have a look at the matrix at the back. Uh, very, very young dolomite, almost a, a clay busy in formation towards the dolomite. And, of course, the black material would most likely be some heterogeneite associated as well.